Hey YouTube, how y'all doing? I'm about to go to my backyard and get all my uh, solar panel equipment connected, specifically my combiner box and controller. And of course the basic connectivity right here, the uh, remote meter and the uh, battery temp cable. Um, just to make it easy, I'm going to take this out of the equation because it's just plug and play. There's an RJ45 outlet right there, you plug that in. And right behind this uh, remote meter is at the other end of the RJ45. So don't need to explain that. That's pretty much really basic, right? And this one right here connects to right there. Here are the symbols on your uh, MPPT controller, right? You got the um, solar panel symbol right there, positive and negative right there. Battery symbol, positive, negative. And this load right here, we're not gonna use that, we'll not need it, and we'll not use it. So we could just X that out. PV, positive and negative. Again, this is the, from the controller. PV, positive and negative, right? It actually just goes in to my combiner box. The battery symbol, positive, and negative that um, this will just go directly again this is from the uh, controller battery symbol positive and negative um, add a fuse or a breaker or breaker right and then this, this just connect to the battery post positive here's your battery positive and here's your negative okay and the negative just connects directly to it okay this one right here doesn't you know you don't put or wire the solar panel directly to that it's gonna go to the combiner box and the reason for that is if you just have a single one sure you can go ahead and plug in your solar panel directly into your controller. But I'm utilizing this combiner box again so I could configure it whatever I like. In this case, again, I'm wiring my solar panel system as a parallel configuration. So, combiner box, positive. So here's my solar panels. Out of, out of bounds, let me push this up. My solar panel, so far I only have two, but will grow. To four. To four. So here we go. But for now, I only have two, right? And it's going to go to the combiner box. Combiner box. Okay. So it's actually, let me expand that right there, right? Because they're going to go to the combiner box. So positive, negative, positive, negative. In my combiner box, these negative terminal blocks, they're jumped, all of them, so it doesn't matter where you plug it in, right? So the negative will just go to the negative of the combiner box. So right there and right there, okay? However, the positive one, I have a positive section right here, plus, Plus, I'm just gonna go uh, draw two of them, but they're jumped, so they're interconnected right there. That jumper is right there. I'm gonna be using this three right here. One, two, three. Using the two jumpers, combine the three right there. So the positive will go into here, and another one, where am I gonna route this? There you go and into the other one. Since they're a jump, and I also jump a third one, right? Now the positive from right here will be going to right there. If I ever want to grow uh, to four, 400 watts, it's gonna be the same thing. The negative, I'm just gonna connect them to the combiner box negative right there right and then the positive 
Uh, of course, I have two more in here, a positive right here, total of five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I will need to move this on this side, left-hand side, and get another jumper to make sure that they're all interconnected. This battery bank is actually for my uh, trolling motor, and uh, I'll be using it today. I'll be putting up my solar panel, get them all connected. Let's pop this thing open. Another washer, lock washer, and finally the nut. I'll put the rest on time lapse. Negative battery goes right here, positive with the uh, breaker. Positive the red one is now fused 10 amps gonna go right there and then from here I jumped it using the jumper positive goes to right there negative goes to The terminal blocks all the black ones are jumped so it doesn't matter where I uh, insert that but here it is And plug it to the solar panel Here we go. Let's connect it positive to red Good to go. Negative. All right, that is connected. Take a look. And look at that. Got the PV. Now activated. That's a sign of a happy system. And of course I'll cut the uh, wires to length, uh, but I don't want to cut them right now because the placement, um, I still need to figure it out. Other than that, you know what? Let me connect a second panel. Hang tight. Two panels connected. That's the dry run. So now, all I have to do is figure out placement in the uh, travel trailer, right? The controller, you want it next to the battery, right? And the batteries, my battery bank on the existing travel trailers, way up front. And um, so now, I gotta get this controller next to it. But the placement I really want is at the rear of the uh, travel trailer, so that will be a little tricky. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to click subscribe, click that notification bell. I'll chat with you guys later. Bye for now. This controller makes it easy uh, where you need to connect it to, but one thing to keep in mind, connect your controller first to your battery or your battery uh, bank. So as I mentioned, the load right there, not gonna use it. Battery connection, really basic, positive to positive, your battery. Put a breaker or a fuse. See if you could uh, connect it as close as possible to your battery. Mm -hmm. The manufacturer suggested that you fuse each one of your solar panels, so I'll just need to connect that to one of the positive in my combiner box. Same thing, right there. 